Hey everybody, this is Dr. Fernhaber, and I'm doing a video today on a very important and interesting article that I came across recently. The article is called Text Neck Syndrome in Children and Adolescents, and it's an article from the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, February 7th of 2021. So it's a, it's a fairly recent article. And the article starts out by describing a 16-year-old girl who came into a physician's office and she had headaches, dizziness, neck pain, vertigo, and ataxia. And ataxia is the inability to walk properly, to walk normally. And all of her lab results were negative. And when they examined her, when they did an MRI on her neck, what they found was that um, she had a reversed curve in her neck with a posterior disc protrusion at the C4, C5 level. Now, this is highly unusual in a, a, an adolescent, a 16-year-old girl, and yet that's what they found. And so the diagnosis was called text neck, um, and the treatment was advice was advised to avoid excessive forward bending of the neck during study and limiting any use of mobile devices. Now, the interesting thing about this particular case is that we see this all the time in practice. We see reverse cervical curves every single day. So this is nothing new. What's interesting about this is that the symptoms that it caused in, a, in a, an individual this young. Um, so text neck is actually becoming a diagnostic term used in medicine and healthcare now. Um, the inappropriate use of personal computers, especially cell phones, relates to this symptom of text neck. And in this article, it said children and adolescents spend five to seven hours a day on their smartphones and handheld devices with their heads flexed forward to read in text. That's a long time. Um, the text neck syndrome has increased stresses on the cervical spine, which can lead to degeneration along with other developmental, medical, psychological, and social complications. That's a pretty powerful list of issues from keeping your head bent forward too much. It is estimated that 75% of the world's population is hunched over their handheld devices for hours every day with their heads flexed forward. Now, there's lots of areas in the neck that can cause pain with this. Intervertebral disc, ligaments, muscle, facet joints, the dura mater, which is the outer covering of the spinal cord, and nerve roots may all generate neck pain. The weight of the head on the spine is very, very much increased when the, when the head is flexed forward. Um, and the effects of this weight are strongly and progressively enhanced by varying degrees, which means the more your head is flexed over, the farther it's flexed over, the more stress that it puts on your central nervous system and on the rest of your spine. Complications of text neck syndrome can involve the eyes, the heart, the lungs, the head, and even mental health. Pretty amazing when you think about it. And that's a direct quote from this article. Here's another quote that I think is just profound. It says, these postures result in long-term damage to the body, including taking years off life expectancy. Now, how's that for a statement? So what they're saying is that you can actually by just keeping your head flexed forward, you can actually shorten your life. Here's another quote from the article that I think is very important. It says, electromagnetic radiation can cause difficult sleeping, dizziness, headaches, tingling in the hands, ringing in the ears, eye pain, cardiac conditions that can't be explained, electrosensitivity, low immunity, attention deficit hyper, hyperactivity disorder, and autism. Children who use more than one to two hours a day of technology have an increase in almost 
50% in psychologic disorders. So I think you get the idea that holding your head forward, especially in kids for long periods of time and staring at electronic devices is really detrimental to their health. It's even detrimental to their life expectancy. And it creates problems in the neck, which we see every day here in, at the office. These problems are corrected through chiropractic, and they're corrected through specific home exercises that we give people every day. So if you have, if you know of people that are suffering from this, if your kids are, are having issues with this, if you are having issues with this, this issue of text neck is almost purely a chiropractic issue, and we can almost certainly help it. So I would recommend that you call our office if you have these issues, talk to Carmen, and she can get you in, and we can check it out and find out if that's the case. I hope you've enjoyed this talk, this uh, article, and we should have another one for you next Wednesday. Have a great weekend.